and I'm at the brand new uh, JW Merit Hotel here in Sao Paulo, Brazil, um, which actually used to be a uh, Four Seasons previously. And this is the executive suite um, 904. But let's start with the uh, with the bedroom. So we have a king bed, and of course you have a TV on the other side, and a view of a nearby apartment building where people are doing their laundry. And that's not part of the hotel, but I'm sure they have a lovely swimming pool here as well. A bathroom. Of course you have a bathtub, a walking shower. And they actually I didn't check it, but what? Um, so, walk in shower, and let's see, they don't have the usual um, JW Marriott line of bathroom. I mean, this is on the Christian LaCroix, yes. So, I haven't seen this one previously. And the JW Marriott will be uh, left over from the Four Seasons times. Of course, we have a toilet here, toilet and a bidet, and a, let's see what amenities they have. I hope we need to ask for shaving and dental kit because, and the mouthwash, well, I don't see them here yet, but I'm sure you can, you can request them from the, from the concierge, so house, housekeeping. And of course, you do have some closet space here. There's another closet too, but here we have a slippers, a shopping bag. Um, funny they actually have a JW Marriott sign there, and a couple of couple of bathrobes. And the in-room safe we actually have here. This is pretty typical nowadays. If you saw it, actually you can fit your laptop and and other valuables as well. I probably need to use the shore sign service and here we have the, uh, the, the living room work desk of course another tv and well this is a little bit weird a little bit weird layout i think you need like a maybe 10 square meters more so it would be a bit more comfortable but the sofa was actually quite lovely but very firm um and of course you do have tea coffee mini bar here uh, some um, doesn't look like Ely, but actually I do like this tea. I have a tea person and a coffee, but do like these potato chips every once in a while. Okay, and here we have the, and of course Guaranacero, fantastic. And it seems that they have sparkling wine or champagne there. So. Um, I actually come to Sao Paulo maybe, maybe half a dozen times per year, and um, where you wait, wait, let me put it this way: it's 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 really a huge city, so you really should stay uh, where you plan to spend most of the time, because the traffic at times can be really bad. This Morumbi, well, this is like Morumbi area, uh, the Hyatt, Hilton, and Sheraton are quite close by. Uh, it's more for for businesses and well i guess by the way <laughs> there's really a reason one why they didn't have this this um curtain open this this river that you can see outside it's really a an open storage it's if i can use a bad word it smells like shit because it, it that's what it basically is so at least when, when it's the uh when it's a little bit warmer so um yeah so you really should stay where you plan to spend most of the time and i personally tend to prefer the challenge area where you can find the um in the continental and renaissance but it isn't at least this is a pretty lovely hotel here in uh, a little bit outside of morumbi but yeah in uh commercial district. So again, this is the JW Marriott here in Sao Paulo, Brazil, and this was the executive suite 904.